Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. And we are two sisters, Southern Cooking. And we are making some chocolate delight here. We're gonna take, we took chocolate, melted it down, and we're going to um, put inside of it, we put a little bit of uh, caramel bits in it, and then we're going to be putting peanuts on the top and different kinds of mixed nuts. And we're also put in there, we put in some kind of a truffle, chocolate baking truffle. Yeah, with sea salt um, caramel in the middle of it. Oh my god. So some of these I'm not going to put any kind of nuts on because some of the people here don't like nuts and that would be Ben. Um, so I'm going to do probably maybe a handful of them that's not going to have nuts in it. Let me put just a tad more in that one. And if we have chocolate on the edges, oh well. It's I'm going to show you a little, uh, I'll show you a little trick on that too. Okay. So um, what we're going to do after we get all of these filled, um, I'm going to uh, take it and tap it so it settles. So it, it, it will, uh, like you do your cakes, so it'll settle it down. So. And what I did with this, I have a silicone spoon, a little spoon here, and we um, put some vegetable oil on it, sprayed it, so that it does it stick? Does it stick to the spoon as as much? Right. So, and you have to work fast with this. So, yeah. any of the chocolates that you're dealing with, you work fast with them because as soon as you heat them up, you better be booking and getting these in there because otherwise, you're going to have. At Christmas time, I make a um, a chocolate chocolate peanut clusters. You could actually put them in these little cups and and have them as individual servings. A, a little neater than just having them. And you can also use dark chocolate too, but we did not. We used semi-sweet chocolate for this because we were putting caramel bits into it as well as the uh, baking truffles. So we have several things in there that is pretty awesome. These are gonna be really good. They are gonna be good. And harden up like See how candies. that settled it down right there? Look at that. So just tapping it down, pushes that chocolate into all the little grooves and everything, and it will give you what you want. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do six, um, well, I'm gonna do eight with, eight without, and then eight with. So we have a total of 24. Are we gonna need more chocolate oats? Mm, I don't know, we'll see. Okay. I think I can. Probably. So these are know. mixed nuts here. They have, um, they're salted mixed nuts too. I had got them from Harvey's. And they're little, where they have their fresh nuts and mixes and um, like the little candies where it's like the organic type. I had gotten me a, a pack of those. We warmed these up in the microwave and it took about five cycles of 30 seconds for these. For these chocolate chocolates, to yeah, to melt because it was definitely, it definitely, um, it will, and they set up quickly, so it will set up very fast. So you gotta move, move on move it move quickly. Hey, we're good to the last drop. You ever have a problem with your your chocolate seizing up like that? Put some coconut oil in it, maybe like a teaspoon or a tablespoon. We put like maybe um, a half, half, half a teaspoon in it, and it look at it. I mean, it looks lovely. So when I told you about it, settles it out, it sure does. Look at that, isn't that marvelous? It looks great. And this takes how long to um, set up? Like this, this is going to be like 30 minutes to an hour to set up and then it's done and then you can serve it. So we got more to go, so we will see you guys in our next video.
Elsie. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.